It's a tough business. Uh, the margins are very, very thin. In December 2013, Steve Mitchell and Brian Lampkin had a crazy idea, one that decades ago wouldn't have seemed so crazy. Bookstores are places where you can find the things you don't know you want. They opened Scuppernong Books, an independent bookstore on South Elm Street in Greensboro. At the time, it was the only indie bookstore in the Piedmont. With books, half of the fun is in finding something you would never have thought of. Amazon was already an industry giant, having surpassed $300 a share that year, and Mitchell knew there was no way they could sell books at the same price as Amazon was. In some sense, they are a competitor, and in another sense, they aren't, because we can't compete with them. At the time, Purdue math major Mason Engel was a loyal Amazon customer. Naturally, as a math major, Engel wrote a book, and after it did well, he wanted to try to get more eyes on it. My idea was to take a road trip around the country to 50 indie bookstores in 50 days, give away a copy of my book at each store, and just ask for feedback and ask if they could sell it. But his book was an Amazon exclusive, and about 10 stores into the trip, he realized he was going to bookstores up against Amazon, trying to get them to help. Amazon. And in hindsight, it seems so obvious, so obviously insensitive what I was doing. He planned a second trip. This time he wouldn't focus on selling. He'd be studying. Shot interviews trying to answer the question of why should people care? Why should people shop at an any bookstore? Shortly after the pandemic started, he called Mitchell, wanting to come to Scuppernong to get some video and do a quick interview. It sounded like a cool idea. You know, he's traveling around the country going to independent bookstores. They ended up having 12 minutes. And I'm so glad that we made the trip over there. Those 12 minutes are some of my favorites in all the interviews that we've done. I think Amazon is a competitor for just about everyone now. And those 12 minutes, just a piece of what caused Engel to start another chapter. I haven't always been a lover of any bookstores. I have been in the Amazon camp because it is so easy and so fast, it's hard not to be. Realizing why Scuppernong Books has such a devoted following, that the stores selling these books have as much character as the characters those books are based on. There are definitely, you know, hardcore book people who are our customers, um, but there's also just a broad range of people who are interested in other things and who can find it here. And why Scuppernong is no longer the only independent bookstore in the Piedmont. In the last five or six years, the number of indie bookstores that have opened around the country just keeps going up. Because while shopping online can get you what you want quickly and cheaply. With that cheapness and with the convenience, we don't feel fulfilled. The stories of how you found your favorite stories are what last. Even though everyone's watching TV and movies and all of that stuff and everybody has all this access to media, books don't go away.